there is something super cool happening tomorrow and we've been telling you about it for quite a while. Yeah, this is the annular eclipse tomorrow, October 14th. The ring of fire will go over West Texas and Albuquerque, New Mexico. That's actually Albuquerque, New Mexico. Why do I know that place? The best place, the best place to see the best place on eclipse. Earth because Yana's is there. There he is on a four second delay through outer space and back. <laughs> Yes, yes, a four second delay, but I'll tell you what, um, we're having a great time out here. It's the 51st annual Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta. There are 16 different countries that are represented here. 550 balloons, and some of which you can see behind me uh, right now, and of course, thousands of spectators. Um, and growing up here in Albuquerque, New Mexico, um, I had a childhood friend who is now on the safety committee for the balloon fiesta. And while he didn't take me up in a balloon, he did take someone special to me. We're looking at another great day. The day starts at 6 a.m. with a weather briefing. The wind report is vital. Balloons can't steer, so they're at the mercy of the steering currents. On this day, the winds are light and blowing to the west. The Dawn Patrol goes up first, showing pilots how the winds change with height. And now it's time to inflate. Fans fill the balloons. Before heat is added, my friend takes me where no one goes, inside the balloon. Balloons have a side opening that we enter. The key is not to step on the material, and I don't move my feet. As heat is added, the opening seals from the pressure. It's time to take off, and this flight has a special passenger, my 16-year-old daughter, who has always wanted to go up in a balloon. On the ground, we get to see a kid right next to a monster, a flying frog, and a cow flying. One of the biggest attractions is Yoda and Darth Vader together. The field crew is made up of stormtroopers and Star Wars characters. In the air, my daughter sees hundreds of balloons taking off in the sunrise. The balloon fiesta runs through Sunday. That's amazing that's going to be happening tomorrow during the annular eclipse because as Owen was mentioning, Albuquerque, New Mexico is right on the center line where that perfect ring will be around the sun. So at that time here, about time, 1034 to 1039, there are going to be uh, hundreds of balloons that are going to stay on the ground and are going to be lit for those four minutes and 50 seconds while there is a ring around the sun. And so you're going to have the glow from the balloons as well as an annular ring of fire eclipse, which should be uh, an incredible view to see uh, tomorrow morning. And of course, after that, it moves into West Texas. Yeah, you know, we think about this balloon fiesta, which we talk about every year, and we always bring up the fact that you're from Albuquerque and, and growing up, you know, this is a, a typical site. Anyone who's from New Mexico knows this is a gigantic deal. And one of the fun things they do is in the evenings, they, they're able to put the balloons up and they get them lit up and it's just such a different experience. But Yanez, we're going to essentially have uh, nighttime during the day for you specifically with the way this eclipse is lining up to Albuquerque. be even better if it was a total solar eclipse because with an annular eclipse there's still the sun light coming through but it is a little darker and so of course with the balloon glow as you mentioned now the balloon glow is usually a total darkness that is going to be a really neat thing NASA is going to be here tomorrow they're handing out eclipse glasses for free and so as you mentioned Owen it should be a spectacular sight uh, tomorrow morning question one last question Anthony before we let you go are we gonna see you go up in one of these balloons uh -huh. <laughs> sure <laughs> So, uh, Sophia, it's funny you mentioned that because we've talked about this before. I went up one time years ago um, in a balloon, and it was it was like this, where it was just calm winds, beautiful day. However, it didn't remain calm with the winds, and so on the landing, we noticed that the wind speeds started picking up, and we all are looking at each other like, "Hey, it seems like we're kind of coming in kind of fast." And sure enough, we land. <laughs> 
I mean, the, the gondola tips over, holding down, we're scraping up our hands, scraping up our arms. And so it was a rough landing. We all survived. So any landing you can walk away from is a good landing. It was a little rough, so I did my one balloon trip. And of course, my 16-year-old who wanted to do it. Um, and I said, who better to go with than the guy who's on the safety committee? It was perfect weather like it is today, not a breeze out there. And she had the time of her life. And her landing was like this. Just gentle. So picture. she had the perfect experience. Uh, picture, and this is something that a lot of people don't understand about these balloons is because they're, in some respects, so fragile. I mean, you could have a weather system miles and miles away, and a gust of wind comes out of nowhere, and all of a sudden you're getting pushed in a different direction. My uh, balloon experience was in North Texas a, a while back, and at one point we lost altitude to the point where the gondola hit the tops of the trees, oh and we were like, oh my goodness, and then, and then almost into the field, and my man, the pilot, uh, lifted us up at the last second. It was wild, but Yanez, right? I mean, that's one of those things. Wind could be nowhere in, well, not that you can see it, but nowhere close by, and it'll still impact these balloons. Yeah, because you think about how they do a forecast. Your forecast is for this spot, and they do a great job of looking at all the different recording stations around the area and say, here are the different winds. Um, but sometimes, and you know, sometimes you're like, well, I need to land by 9 o'clock. And then at 9, there's nowhere to land, and so you end up landing at 9, 10. But in that window, the wind speeds start picking up. And so it, it is, it's, you've, you've really got to have safety, number one, if you're going to be doing this sport. So you're right, it, it's difficult. And you really got to know the forecast. Yeah, respect for the pilots, too, oh, as well yeah. as the weather guys. All right, Anthony. Thank Have you so much. Have the time of your life. Enjoy, my friend. Have so much fun. <laughs> we'll see you soon. Yep.